Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this Innova OBD 5610. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to the guys at Innova for sending me this tool. Um, as you can see here, <clears throat> this is the uh, Car Scan Pro plus uh, Repair Solutions. You can download the app to your phone. And um, these are all the features that it has, guys. Check engine, active test, bi-directional system test enhanced data stream transmission temperature tpms tpms tire pressure uh electronic parking brake abs service battery reset network scan oil light reset srs battery system check live data abs smog so <clears throat> has a lot of nice features guys to be honest as you can see back here also the 5610 is the one with the most uh active test you can do like different stuff on it and as you can see the rest of them you only could do like certain things so these are all the features and functions has a nice wide range of functions that you can test on your vehicle and like I said you can download the uh, repair solutions app and um, as you can see there you can check out more stuff so Let's open this up and check it out, guys. <clears throat> so as you can see, it comes with the cable. <clears throat> and it has a little, uh, let me see. It has a little paper, I think I left it at home, that you can, um, it has like a little code and you can download the app from there or you can just look it up at the uh, the Google Play Store and it'll come up just put uh, repair solutions so it has a nice pretty long cord as you can see very good in case you're like in the car and you want to like you know uh, extend it to where the engine is at a little it's pretty long I mean it's not going to go all the way up there but it's going to at least go like over here on the side of the fender I think should have enough enough cord for that <clears throat> so that's not bad at all so now let's plug this in up here there we go we screw these two little screws in. So now, let me connect to my OBD port over here. Turn the key on. So it says auto link in progress. <laughs> and it's pretty quick, this tool also. That's what I like about it. So here are the buttons. This is to erase the codes, the uh, system status, the uh, DT codes freeze frame data, live data, the menu button. And this is a power link button here. <clears throat> and these are directional buttons also here and here. And this is to enter. So I'm going to skip this for now because I have to pair the app with this uh, OBD, but I haven't did that yet. Okay, no, this car has no codes, which is good. Now it's giving me a cat code there. So let's check this out. As you can see the light is uh, yellow. So let's go to system status. Let's go to global OBD.
Let's press skip for now. Let's go to menu. <clears throat> so see now here, you can do, you can check the, uh, let's go to active test. So now I have a 2003 Toyota Camry. Press enter. Yes, this is my vehicle. So see, you can uh, you can test your AC magnetic clutch relay, uh, canister pressure control VSV, fuel pump, like this. So um, if you want to check if your fuel pump is working, you go there, and this will show you right here how to how to do the test. It says this test activates the fuel pump control on and off. Operate with I with ignition on, ignition off, shift selector, and park. So my fuel pump is working, so I'm not going to test that out. But if you have a car that you're not sure if, if you're getting fuel, you can do that test right there. And your injector volume, your purge, your VSV. So those are the tests that you, the active tests that you can do there. So let me go back. Let's go to uh, special function. Engine and ECT. <clears throat> this is a nice little scanner guys very nice so as you can see here you can reset the memory evap system check o2 sensor rpm check af o2 sensor operation let's see this one here evap system check Let's check there. Now it depends on your car also, guys, because some cars don't... This system activates the purge system. Okay. Release vacuum. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to do that right now. <clears throat> now it depends on your car because some not all cars, um, you can check everything. Because this is an older car, so it might not have... Um, features that a newer car would have. Let's go back real quick. Let me see something else. Hold on. Let me check the um, the one where it says RPM. This one here. Like I said, I have a, uh, okay, my car is off, so that's why it's saying engine speed zero. The fuel system is not available. My voltage B, bank one sensor one is 3.29, 3.298 volts. Um, so yeah, my car is off right now, so that's why it's not reading a lot of stuff right now. But yeah, also guys, um Okay, let's go back. I um I noticed that some of the features on this OBD my other OBD doesn't even have. So now you got here the service reset. You can uh reset your oil light if you just change the oil in your car. Uh the battery if you just put in a battery, steering angle sensor calibration, electronic parking brake reset. In case you have electronic parking brake on your car, this will show you how to do it. You see it's not supported on this vehicle because I don't have electronic parking brake. That's what I mean. That's what I meant to say when, when I when I said uh, it depends on your vehicle because some cars 
have different things than other cars. Like this one doesn't have uh, electronic parking brake. So um, let's get out of this one. But um, these are some of the things that you can check here. DPF reset. ABS bleeding. And stuff like that. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to uh, service check. <clears throat> So this also tells you the transmission fluid temperature. There we go, 177 Fahrenheit. That's because I just turned off my car, so right now it's cooling down. So you can also test your uh, battery. Let's just test the battery real quick in the alternator. So it tells you here, the vehicle must be prepared for battery test. Vehicle is not moving. The transmission must be in park or neutral, which it is. Uh, ensure the parking brake is on. Put on my parking brake. Okay, what else? Let's go continue. Turn on your headlights. My headlights are on. Continue. <clears throat> so now the countdown begins. It's testing it out right now. Turn headlights off. I did. Continue. Start the engine. <clears throat> battery status good. So as you can see here, my battery is good. 12.2 volts. So let's go back. Let's go to do the alternator. So the engine is running. Turn on my headlights. Continue. Let me push. Let me push the seat up a little bit because I'm too far. Because I gotta press the gas. Increase engine speed above 2,000 RPM. So let's do that right now. So now it's counting down. As you can see the volts, 13.79, 13.80. Okay, turn the headlights off. Alternator test, it's checking it out. Alternator status is good. 13.74 volts. So there you go, guys. Charging voltage within specifications. Great. Let me turn this car off. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. <clears throat> so let's see what else we have here. Drive cycle procedure. DLC locator. Vehicle information, firmware version, <clears throat> has a tool library, tool settings. Okay, so there you go, guys. Let me see what this OBD mode test is. Oh, okay. O2 sensor test, OBD monitor test, EVAP test, IM monitor test. No, wait, my ignition is not on. Let's go to this drive cycle. Oh, you see? This does not support it. Okay. So there you go, guys. Let's go to O2 sensor test.
Okay, there you go, guys. Let's go to next. Well, my car's off right now, so let me see something. <clears throat> Value 1.275 volts. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Let's go to uh, freeze frame. No powertrain DTCs or freeze frame data is presently stored in the vehicle's computer. <clears throat> but see, it says cat. So let's go to live data, see what happens here. See what comes up. Fuse system one, fuse system two, catalytic load is 16.1, ECT 176 Fahrenheit, short term fuel trims, bank one 7.8, long term fuel trim, bank one 6.3%, engine RPM 681, 682. Vehicle speed is zero because I'm parked. Spark advance 12.5. IAT idle air. <clears throat> IAT is 100 Fahrenheit. Math. TPS throttle position sensor 14.9. O2 sensor location. Bank one sensor one, bank one sensor two. <clears throat> it's showing you everything from your O2 sensors to your math sensors, TPS, throttle position. OBD, OBD SUP. So this has a lot of stuff guys very nice shows you a little bit of everything here that's the live data stuff there <clears throat> so let's go to um, I guess that's all it has system status your DT codes freeze frame live data menu So yeah, guys, this is a uh, very nice little Innova scanner. It has a lot of different features. You can test a few different things. And um, it's very, very good. I recommend this scanner to anyone, guys, that's looking for a decent scanner to uh, work on your vehicle. So like I said, guys, this is the Innova 5610. And I want to, I like I said before, give a big shout out to Innova, Innova for sending me this tool. And um, I'll be using this more often, guys. So there you have it, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and God bless.